So you're a former ECW champion, former United States champion. We're going to talk about that later. Yep. And former heavyweight champion. Which title meant the most to you to hold? Um, you know, the ECW was really cool. Uh, beating Matt for it and then having so many great feuds with Tommy Dreamer, Fit Finley, and then going on to Christian. Um, that was the first real taste of it. That was really special. Um, but the World Heavyweight Championship, you know, just to be on that list of the guys who held that title, um, it's pretty special. So I, I, I'd have to put that one above it. But if you ask me, I will put working with Zeb Coulter above the World Heavyweight Championship. He, he was that, uh, that good. Oh. Um, so you won money, the Money in the Bank later match at WrestleMania 26. Yep. What were you feeling with that brief, briefcase in your hand with 72,000 people watching you live? I thought I was on a 100-foot ladder, and I was like, I am not going up one more step. <laughs> uh, uh, you go up one more step. No, uh, man, that was so cool. Uh, very special moment. Um, the guys uh, in that match really worked hard to help help me get over and look like I could be a, a winner of them mm -hmm. because that's almost more important than actually having the briefcase. You gotta the fans have to believe it in, in their eyes. Um, but the last Money in the Bank match at WrestleMania, it was pretty cool. Um, man, just goosebumps all over, just like. On, on a cloud, you know. See him now. Yeah, yeah, just talking about it. It's yeah. pretty cool. Um, but yeah, very special. Once again, thanks, Christian. <laughs> so we all know, not personally, being eliminated from the Royal Rumble kind of sucks, but you were also eliminated by Hall of Famer Kevin Nash at one point in a Rumble. What was that like for you to have a Hall of Famer talk to you over? Big Sexy? Oh, man, I'm, I'm hard just thinking about it. Um, well, I was always a, a big Kevin Nash guy, Big Daddy Diesel uh, growing up, so that was pretty cool. You know, there's certain moments uh, that you look back on your career. Like, I got thrown out of the Rumble by Kevin Nash. I'd taken a Stone Cold stunner at WrestleMania in the middle of the ring from Stone Cold. And like, and those are those are the good moments, like the the kind yeah. of silly ones. Those yeah. are the really special ones. I feel like. Um, this is a two-parter. Who's your favorite feud and who is your least favorite feud? Well, I have to say my favorite feud is with Christian, and when we were in ECW. Otherwise, he'll get very angry with me. <laughs> um, I I really enjoyed working with him. Uh, he was one of the first guys that. I just like I didn't know he wasn't in developmental. He had just came back over from that other brand, and uh, you know we had just like clicked and we just had something. We just had chemistry in instantly, and it was really cool to work with, um, especially being so young in my career. Uh, my worst feud, uh, Adam Adam Rose and the Rosebuds. That whole that whole month was just miserable. <laughs> So that with Adam Rose, what do you think of No Way Jose's gimmick? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not current. You, oh, okay, you don't follow. Right? All right. Um, which tag team do you prefer to be part of, you and Ziggler or the Real Americans, you and Cesaro? Uh, me and Cesaro, uh, hands down. No offense to, to Ziggs. Uh, love that guy to death. But uh, me, and, me and Cesaro, dude, I, I really fell in love with tag team wrestling there like fell in love with setting the heat and building that hot tag and it's just um the way you know that to watch him work and i can like see how his mind is working he's such a great wrestling mind um to just be a part of that in there he made everybody in the ranks uh better and so hands down cesaro awesome. is there anything in wwe that you wanted to accomplish but you didn't oh yeah tons of things um it's uh, it's hard for me though to look back with uh, any regret. Um, it's just a lot of lessons. Um, something I didn't accomplish that's on me, and uh, I'm not I'm not bitter about it. Very thankful for my career there, and I also believe that I, I will be back. And uh, you know we're we're gonna do this MMA thing um, with Bellator. 
And uh, I'm going to continue to do both. I think one hand helps the other, and so that's only going to make me a bigger star, and that's what I'm trying to do. Yep, so you actually uh, you signed in November with Bellator. Uh, where's your, do you have a training camp? Uh, I, I saw a picture with uh, you and Batista training. Are you still training with him? Or? Yeah, yeah. Um, Dave has been great. Um, he lives in Tampa. Um, so he, I kind of pretty much took his team when yeah. that he used for his fight. I got Rob Bradford out of Cincinnati, great MMA boxing coach. I got the mad scientist, Josh Rafferty, uh, ex-UFC guy, 20 years of fight experience. And then uh, Joey Best is my uh, jiu-jitsu coach. And so right now we're kind of you know, going underground and we're bringing people in and like kind of jumping around from facility to facility. I think until uh, we really figure out how to juggle the wrestling schedule with the training and you know, like keep it coordinated with, uh, until that we can't really settle on one facility. But uh, those are the main guys. And uh, dude, I, I can't thank Josh Rafferty and Joey Best enough because um, I would not be this close to being ready without them. They have really dedicated so much of their life for me, and it's just, it's really unbelievable, and I'm very thankful for them. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you hit subscribe so you can get all our content here at Perched on the Top Rope. And fans, remember, spoiler freeze, the way to be. I'm out. Mm.